good morning dear students today you are going to learn your first chapter of mathematics place value now in this lesson you are going to learn what you have studied about place value and three digit numbers in your class 2 and then we will see and learn about a new place value thousands we will also learn about four digit numbers and learn how to write its word form and expanded form then we will learn how to compare four digit numbers and also learn about ordering numbers let us start learning about digits now what are digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 are called digits these are called parts of a number because by making use of digits we build a number For example, you can say that 48 is made up of two digits 4 and 8. 503 is made up of three digits 5, 0 and 3. All numbers are made up of digits. Let us see this. How many digits does the following number on your screen have? Let us count them. Four zero nine eight seven. If you count the digits, it is made up of five digits. So we say that the number that you see on the screen is a five-digit number. Let us see this. How many digits does the following number on the green bar have? It is having four digits. One, three, four, five. If you count them, they have four digits. Now, how many digits? Does the number on your blue bar has? It is having three digits. Four, two, five. If you count them one after another, it is a three-digit number. So we say that four hundred twenty-five is a three-digit number. Now let us understand what do we mean by place value. The very name of our chapter is place value. Let us understand what does it actually mean. the position of a digit in a number give its value the numerical value this is called place value that means we can understand the value of every digit in a number depending upon in which place does it lie now let us see the example that you see on the screen you see that 8 is under units place the ones place that is why We say that the value of eight is eight ones. Three is under the tens place, so we say that it is three tens. And two is under the hundreds place, so we read the value of two as two hundred. So, my dear students, it means that the place value of eight in this number is eight ones. The place value of three is three tens, and the place value of two is two hundreds. we can determine the place value of all these digits because of its position in the number and how do we read that above number it is read as 238 now we see 1 cube of 1 making it number 1 then we see 10 cubes of 10 making a rod of 10 and number 10 then we see 100 cubes of 100 making a flat of 100 calling it as number 100 one cube of ones two rods of tens and one flat of 100 how many what will be the number called The number is one hundred twenty-one. Let us see this number. Oh, how many cubes of ones? One, two, three, four, five cubes of one. Three rods of ten, and two flats of hundred. How many? It is two hundred thirty-five.
Now we will learn a new place value which is called thousands. This is also the first time we are going to learn a four digit number. Before we do that, let us recall what is the largest three digit number that we have learned. The largest three digit number is 999. We have placed 999 under the place value chart. And then in order to know what will come right after the largest three digit number, we will add one to it. So 999 plus 1 when added carefully gives us a number 1000. So dear students, this is the first smallest four digit number that you will learn, which comes under a new place value thousands. So 999 plus 1 gives us 1000. Now we know that smallest four digit number is 1000. What will be the greatest four digit number? It will be 9999. So how do we form a thousand? When we combine ten hundreds, it makes one thousand. How do we understand that? The picture on your screen explains it. We see one flat of a hundred has hundred cubes in it. So like that, if we stack ten flats of hundreds together, it will form a block of thousand. Now this is how you are going to remember about the place value. A unit is shown by a cube. A tenth place is shown by a rod. Hundredth place is shown by a flat. And thousandth place is shown by a cube. Let us see what is this four digit number. So there are 7 cubes of 1s, 3 rods, that is 3 tenths, 2 hundredths and 1000. So how many? It is number 1237. Since we have now studied about four digit numbers, let us again recall what is the place value of each digit in a number. You see on the screen a four digit number. The first digit in the ones place is 9. So we say that the place value of 9 is 9 ones. The place value of 2 is 2 tenths since it is in the tenths place. 3 is in the hundreds place so we say that the place value of 3 is 300 and 1 is in the thousands place so we say that the place value of 1 is 1000. So the number is made up with 1000, 300, 2 tens and 9 ones. You can see the picture below. It is showing 9 cube of ones, 2 rods of tens, 3 flats of hundred and 1 block of thousand. We read the number as 1329 and how do we expand it? We say that 1000 is 1 times 1000, 300 is 3 times 100, 2 tens is 2 times 10 and 9 ones is 9 times 1. How do you read a 4 digit number? You see a four digit number on the screen. Okay. In order to read a number it is very important that you understand its place value. So four is in the ones place. So we say it is four ones. Nine is in the tenths place. So we say it is nine tenths or ninety. Three is in the hundreds place. So it is three hundred. Two is in the thousands place. So it is two thousand. When you combine to read the four digit number it is read as 2,394. So we read the number from the left side, starting from the bigger place value. Now let us understand the place value chart by placing four digit number in this place value chart. A place value chart for a four digit number has ones, tens, 
hundreds and a thousand. So let us begin by placing the four digit number in the place value chart. Starting from the smaller unit. 4 in the 1's place, 9 in the 9's, 10's place, 3 in the 100's place and 2 in the 1000's place. So what does this mean? It means that 4 in the 1's place makes the place value of 4 as 4 1's. 9 in the 10's place makes the place value of 9 as 9 10's. 3 in the hundreds place makes the place value of 3 as 300 and 2 in the thousand place gives the place value of 2 as 2000. It's just in another example and now we see how to read this four digit number. Starting from the bigger place value I told it will be read as 2394. Let us have some more examples with four digit numbers in the place value chart. Now before we study these examples, I want you to understand one thing. We will notice that there is a comma placed in the yellow column in the numbers. Now I need you to understand why are we placing a comma every time after a thousands place. This is because my dear students, a comma is placed after thousands place to separate the thousand period from the ones period. The place values ones, tens and hundreds belongs to a period, the first period called ones period. And thousands place value belongs to a separate period called thousands period. Here you can assume it to be Two different homes. I say you that ones, tens and hundreds, they all belong to one family, one home, one period. And thousands belong to a different home, which is thousands period. Alright, my dear students. So in order to separate two periods, we place a comma between the numbers. So starting from the first example, you see three in the thousands period, thousands place, four in the hundreds place, 5 in the 10's place and 8 in the 1's place. So when we form this number, we simply put it together as 3458. The next example is 1275. Read it along. The next is 4900. So there is nothing in the 10's and 1's place. We do put a 0 over there but we read the number as 4,900, 4,900. Then the last one is 9,301. Now here we learn about four digit numbers using spike abacus. Dear students, a spike abacus shows different place values and every spike in it has 13 beads. The number of beads in a spike shows the digit in that particular place value. You see first image on your left it is showing number 5123 because there are three beads in one place, two beads in tens place, one bead in hundreds place and five beads in thousands place making it as number 5123. I would like you all to notice that the place values written at the top, ones, tens and hundreds are colored blue because they represent one single period which is called ones period. And thousand is placed in a different color yellow because it belongs to a separate thousands period. Now the image on your right has a different example. You see, let us count the number of beads in the ones place. There are seven beads in the ones place, five beads in the tens place, no beads in hundreds place and 4 beads in thousands place. So we will write digit representing each place 4 in thousands, 0 in hundreds, 5 in tens and 7 in ones making it a 4 digit number 4057. Now there is another number on your screen. We have to find out the number by reading the spike about this. It's thousands, hundreds, tens and ones place 
So we see that the number formed is 2413. And now comes the word form in expanded form. The word form of this number is 2413. And the expanded form is 2000 plus 400 plus 10 plus 3. Once you know how to make a four digit number, it is very important for us to study the word form in expanded form of a number. Expanded form is simply put up by combining the place value in numbers of each and every digit. Now let us understand the place value of this number. 6 belongs to the 1's place, 0 belongs to the 10's place, 5 belongs to the 100's place and 4 belongs to the 1000's place. So the place value of each number is appearing on the screen when you click and the expanded form is the combination of all the place values. 4000 plus 500 plus 0 plus 6. Then later on, we study how to build a number. Now you have to build a four digit number and first on the screen in blue color are the four clues. We need to just put the numbers in the correct place values. Six in the tens place. Make us put six in tens place. Then we put eight in thousands place, five in ones place and two in hundreds place. So when we arrange and put them in the correct place value, the number is 8265. It's quite easy. Then you have another four clues in purple color for you to form a number. I'm sure you will be able to do it by yourself. Now here is the first exercise. Exercise 1A from your textbook. It's for you to practice and solve all these questions in your textbook itself. Here on the first exercise you have everything that you have studied so far including the cubes to form a four digit number, spike abacus again to form a four digit number and they have given us the word form and you have to write a, the numeral form for it and then they gave us the number and you have to write down the word form for it. The last question fill in the blanks makes you think and write down what number comes after. So I hope you all will solve this in your textbook. And this is exercise 1b. Again, it includes everything that we have learned in the lesson so far. Writing the place value, building the number, writing expanded form and writing the numeral form once an expanded form is given to us. I hope even exercise 1B will be done by you in the textbook. Thank you dear students.